The mechanics that keep your character alive in Path of Exile can very broadly be defined into four categories. Your base HP pool. This is going to be the effective pool of your life, mana, or energy shield in whatever combination it depends on your build. When this reaches zero, you die. Pretty simple. Next up, we have avoidance. The goal of avoidance is to keep you from taking damage. The problem with avoidance is when it fails, and it will always fail, you can never get to 100% avoidance, you will take damage. There's also certain things, like damage over time, that completely bypasses most types of avoidance. Then, next up, we have damage reductions. These are the things that kick in usually when you're hit, although there are cases where they also apply to damage over time, such as resistances. Resistances are classified here as a damage reduction. And then finally, recovery. Recovery is something that is responsible for raising your health back up, such as a life flask. Now, a new type of stat on gear called Word is being added. Where does Word fit into this, and can it help you die less? Well, that's a little bit complicated, so let's break it down. And if you like seeing new things in Path of Exile and want to know more about the new skills, I'll be talking about them in an upcoming video. So be sure to subscribe to the channel and join my Discord to see when that's uploaded. And videos like this are made possible in part due to the generous support of my YouTube channel members and patrons. So if you want to help out in the creation of one of these videos, more on how you can support at the end. Word is a new stat on gear, which takes the place of armor, evasion, or energy shield. Now, to break these down a little bit, energy shield falls into the HP category that I mentioned earlier. Evasion falls into the avoidance, and armor falls into the damage reduction category. What Word does is you have a word value. When you are hit, that word value is deducted from the damage. Now, I don't know if this is the raw damage or if this is the damage after mitigation. This is where the usefulness of word is going to come into question. Because if it's the raw damage, it's going to be minimally useful. If it's the damage you take after mitigation, then it's going to be extremely effective. I'm going to pretend that it applies after mitigation because that's the stronger and more useful situation. So let's say you have 250 ward and you take 1,000 damage after mitigation. Then you would take 750 damage, and your ward would go on cooldown for 5 seconds. Just from this interaction, we can already tell what it's not. It's not recovery, it doesn't do something after you've lost health, and it's not avoidance, it doesn't stop you from getting hit. Which means it's either damage reduction or HP. And this is where the lines in defenses get a little bit blurry. Because word is kind of both at once. It certainly reduces the damage you take, which normally would mean it falls into damage reduction. But because it's a flat value, it functions the way the game has traditionally treated HP. I know this is partially because these broad categories don't perfectly apply, and so I'm going to actually treat word as temporary health. You have temporary health until you are hit, and then you recover the temporary health five seconds later. This is, in a lot of ways, similar to Energy Shield, except that Energy Shield recharges at a rate, whereas Ward comes back all at once, instantly, no matter how much you have. If you take a hit and your Ward is depleted, five seconds later, you will be at full Ward, regardless of if you have one Ward or one million. Therefore, this behavior can help inform us where Ward would be useful. It's probably not going to be that useful while mapping. Most of the time when people say they got one shot while mapping, either they were legitimately one shot, they stood in a volatile, they stood in a zap, they stood in a DD, and they just got blown away. Well, it could help against the volatile and the zap, but you shouldn't stand in those anyway. And it's probably not going to help against a DD when the hits from those can reach the millions and this isn't a percentile reduction. It's a flat number. But most of the time when people die and feel like they got one shot, they actually got hit from five or six different sources, all within a quarter of a second or less. The human brain isn't very good at processing information at that speed. You feel like you are alive one instant, and you are dead the next. This is largely a side effect of how fast the game plays. The faster your POE gameplay is, the more likely you're going to feel like you got one shot, even when it was actually five or six hits. 
Bosses, on the other hand, often do kill players with a single hit or a couple hits. And this is where Ward could really matter. Ward is a very good defense against bosses. If you stand in something like, let's just say, Shaper Slam, that's one massive single hit. If you accidentally get hit by Cirrus's triple beam, that's three separate hits. And if Ward completely prevents the damage from the first one or otherwise trivializes it, you're far more likely to survive the next two. In this way, Ward falls into kind of the same defenses as Kintsugi, Wind Ward, or Wind Dancer, where it's very good against the first hit, but completely useless against subsequent hits which means it's best paired with some sort of avoidance. You don't want to get hit very often when you're using Ward, but if you're playing a build that isn't going to take very many hits consecutively, then Ward is going to be an excellent defense. Similarly, if you play well and dodge around on a boss fight, Ward is going to be a very effective thing for you to invest in. Now, when it comes to Ward, a big concern that I have personally is just the raw amount. It doesn't look like you're going to be able to get all that much of it. And while it does seem to have a relatively low opportunity cost for builds that might use something like Divine Flesh, thus be unable to benefit from Energy Shield anyway, I'm not sure it's going to ever be your main defensive layer. You're not going to be a ward build. However, as an auxiliary defense, something that augments a defensive system, such as, let's say you're a raider, you have good avoidance because of your raider ascendancy, Maybe you're Gladiator instead. You also have good avoidance there. Maybe you can get away with a slightly smaller HP pool now and invest everything else into recovery because you know you're not going to get hit twice while mapping. And you know that on a boss, your ward will probably save you. 315 promises to shake the game up in a lot of ways. The changes to flasks alone are going to completely redefine the meta and how we handle content. I don't know that ward's going to be that strong right away. But there's plenty of mechanics like Impale, which started out somewhat weaker, and ended up being powerhouses. But what do you think? Does Ward look good, or is it something that you're going to ignore for a while? I'd love to hear your thoughts down in the comments below. Thank you for watching, and if you like the video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. A special thanks to my YouTube channel members and patrons, whose generous support keeps me from needing to accept sketchy mobile game sponsorships. If you want the best way to keep up with my video releases and live streams, or maybe just hang out and chat with a bunch of like-minded people, be sure to join the Discord. You can find all these links down in the description below. Thank you again, and I hope you have a great day.